My name is Paul Cleary. I'm the founder and managing partner of Horn IT Solutions. We are a managed services company and an IT advisory company out of uh, the Toronto area in Canada. A virtual CIO is an experienced IT professional who uh, works part time for your organization, providing you with higher level insight into how to use your technology, uh, strategy, uh, possibly security, disaster recovery, uh, hiring and structuring of an IT department, or how you get those kinds of IT um, services delivered, technology selection, things like that. The kinds of things that you would expect, uh, you know, a senior IT executive to take care of. Well, I mean, the advantages of a virtual CIO, uh, one of them is, generally speaking, what you're getting is a very experienced IT professional, someone who has a lot of background in technology, um, but you're not paying what you would pay to have them full time. Um, CIOs are, are quite expensive and um, you probably don't need one full time. You need just a few hours a month, maybe a few hours a quarter even, um, to lay out the strategy for how you're going to get the most out of your technology. I mean, generally, the virtual CIO would um, start by understanding what your corporate goals are. So what is your business plan? What are you trying to accomplish? Because they want to align your technology with your business. Um, and so your technology should be being used to enable your business to make you more competitive, uh, to reduce costs, um, to increase market share, something like that. So they need to understand your business. Therefore, they're going to have to spend some time with key players in your business, um, this CEO or the, uh, you know, whoever is uh, running the company and different members, operational members, uh, finance, um, you know, all the key players in the organization. From there, they need to understand how, uh, what your in IT infrastructure looks like currently. Uh, so they will need to get a grasp on that, both what you have internally and the vendors and partners that you're using in order to get your uh, technology needs met. At that point, they can start to pull together a strategy and develop that strategy for you and lay it out in, you know, um, one year, three year and five year kind of horizons. So there's a good understanding of where you're going. You have a roadmap. Uh, you're going to understand what your spend is going to be, uh, what your hiring is likely to look like if you're going to hire um, or what kind of services you're going to need from outside vendors. Once they've done that, then they basically are supervising that process or that strategy, that roadmap going forward. So they would work with your internal IT team or work with your vendors to meet those strategic goals as they were laid out in that roadmap. We're working with Horn IT. We have a number of uh, individuals who act as virtual CIOs. Um, they, they all come with uh, years of experience in IT management um, and they, but but it would really depend on what your strategic needs are. So some organizations are um, in need of a lot of change and maybe in need of a lot of um, new and innovative technology to be uh, rolled out, in which case you would work with, um, you know, one of our, our, our key team members. On the other hand, some organizations have fairly um, mature uh, compliance requirements. So they're under some regulatory regime like ITAR or HIPAA or something like that. And in which case, uh, really, there's a lot of uh, compliance work required. And so that would be more one of our virtual CIOs who has special who specializes in compliance issues. Um, so it really depends on the needs of the organization. When you meet with us, and engage with us, we would assess what your needs are and try and match you up with the right individual. A 
No, um, that is not necessary. Um, although generally speaking, if you are working with us as managed services, uh, as one of our managed service clients, we lay on the virtual CIO services as part of the engagement. But we do work with many companies where we are simply engaged on strategy or change uh, or driving technology and digital transformation. So um, you can work with us directly just for virtual CIO services. Great. Um, okay, and then how could a company get started with Horn as our as their virtual CIO? Uh, well, we need to start with a, a, a meeting where we can basically scope out what your requirements are so we can get an understanding of your organization and what your goals are in engaging a virtual CIO. Um, at that point, we would put together a proposal and um, we would work out just exactly what the details are, how much time you're going to need from this virtual CIO. Usually there is a, you know, a larger amount of time at the start of the engagement and then there is sort of an ongoing management piece that goes on through the end. One of the roles that virtual CIOs often play is uh, speaking to the board. Um, if you have a board of directors and you have to report to them, then basically the virtual CIO takes care of that part of your board presentations for the IT organization. Now, if you have an IT manager who does that, um, the virtual CIO can play a coaching role to help them uh, develop the skills in order to be able to, to do those board presentations. So it's really very dependent on the organization. We start with a meeting, we get to know you a little bit and understand what your needs are and we go from there. Yeah, we would love for people to reach out to us um, if they think this would be a valuable service. Um, we, you can reach us at, well, you can reach me at, uh, uh, my name is Paul Cleary, P-C-L-E-A-R-Y at horn-it.com. And, or you can call us at 416-421-1085 extension 3.